Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today we have another episode of Battle of the Blades featuring the Kaiser Mini Sheepdog squaring off against the CJRB Mylea. Now, before I go any further in this comparison, I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in today. If you like what you see, please do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, follow along, and I will continue to bring you the content. I would also like to note that both these knives are linked in the description below of this video. So if you see one that you just can't pass up, hop down on those links, zip on over to Amazon, and pick yourself one up. Now, let's talk about these blades. Let's compare these blades because these are pretty comparable knives. Small difference in size, but I think either one can make a very good case of why one is better than the other. Now, as you guys probably already know, we have seven categories in this matchup today. We have blade, handle, and ergos, value, carry, quality, action, and aesthetics. At the end of each round, I will assign a point to the winner, and at the end of the matchup, we will tally the score, and we will have ourselves a winner of this Battle of the Blades. Now, let's start out with the blade. What else would we start off with? I mean, let's be real. Okay, so here, the CJRB Mylea, we're looking at a cutting edge of 2.25 inches with a behind the edge thickness or thinness of 17 thousandths, and this blade is featuring CJRB's new powder metallurgy steel, AR RPM 9. Now this steel is new to the market. It's um it's supposed to take away some of the better qualities of D2 and combine that with the better qualities of something like an N690 to where you have the good corrosion resistance, you have the good edge retention. So far, everything that I've heard, which hasn't been of anything too incredible detail, but um from what I've heard, people have been liking it. And uh, so a lot of good things coming, but I think it, we're still just kind of waiting for, for the complete total verdict, but I have heard mostly good things and my personal experience with it has been really good actually, really good. Now the Kaiser Mini Sheepdog, this is sporting a two and a half inch blade. So you get an extra quarter inch of edge, which that does, that, that, that does come in heavily when you're talking sub three inches. 2.5 inch cutting edge with 16 thousandths behind the edge. And you have the steel of 154 cm, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are already well aware of 154 cm. It's a really great EDC budget steel, um, holds a respectable edge. Um, has respectable corrosion resistance. It's a very, it's like an, it, it's like an, a star, but a, it's an average star, I guess. I mean, it's it, it's just very popular. You see it on a lot of knives and I have no issues with that. I personally would take it over a D2 just about any day. Um, so I do like the steel a lot. I do like this blade a lot. What are the differences? Well, the big defining difference in with these knives is the cutting edge. You get that extra quarter inch which isn't, you know, make or break for everybody. But again, when you're talking lengths, that is a big deal for me personally. I think one advantage to the Mylea blade though is it's a narrower blade and it's still a good it's still a good width. It's not uh it, it's it's not too narrow, but it's not really wide. You have a considerable um, considerable amount of width with the Kaiser Mini Sheepdog blade, but that'll also give you a little extra cutting power and uh, a, a slightly more solid of a blade. You combine that with the handle, you have a very, very solid knife in general right here. But the narrowness of this CJRB blade will especially make it a little easier to use for the actual kind of knife this is. Be a little easier to actually, you know, really work in and do some little fine detail cuts, which is more along the lines of what you'd probably be doing with a smaller knife anyway. But overall, at the end, comparing the two in my daily use, I really do like that extra quarter of an inch. And I really do like the unique amount of power you get with this blade, with the unique, uh, with the, with the nah, I wouldn't say full flat grind, obviously, but the nice flat grind, the thin edge, thin, the relatively thin stock. Another thing worth noting, let me close this up here. These stocks are pretty much the same width here. I mean, yeah, maybe just a got a just a smidgen thicker is the mini sheepdog, but not enough to really make a difference there. Can I? Yeah, I did it left-handed. Okay, so um, I'm gonna give the point to the Kaiser mini sheepdog on the blade. I like the extra bit of power. I like the thinness behind the edge. It's it's not much thinner, but it is just slightly thinner. But it's just a really excellent combination of hard use and sliciness. So that point will go to the mini sheepdog. Now, when it comes to the handle and ergos, 
This one is another one. It's it's pretty close, and it's really gonna, of course, come down to uh, the user's hand size and shape and what you prefer. You know, some people really like a choil, and if you like a choil, you kind of not totally, but you kind of have that with the with the Mylea. You don't have that at all. Um, the real advantage to the Mylea, in my opinion, is. The fact that you can get three fingers, you can get your index finger, and you can get that nice close detail work. Now, that's not always going to be great for every use you have with this knife. It does feel really good like this too, but then you kind of have an awkward feel at the bottom where your 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 ring finger is kind of just halfway on there. So, it's it's not a real full grip as to where the Mini Sheepdog does give me a much better full three finger grip and my pinky you know, it doesn't feel too weird down there. I have a good place to put my thumb and it just allows for a really powerful cutting motion when you have this knife solid in your hand like that. And it also feels like it is there and it's not going anywhere. Sometimes when I hold the Malia in my hand, I do kind of get um, a little bit of an awkward feel. For the size of this knife, it still has really good ergos. But comparing apples to apples, the ergos on the Mylea are slightly behind. This is definitely more of a fifth pocket carry for me as to where the Mini Sheepdog could be either or. But regardless, when it comes to comparing the ergos of these two knives, I do have to give it to the Mini Sheepdog. By a little, but it is just a, it's just a fuller feel that I do like more, I appreciate more. And it's just a, it's the winner in this category. Now, when we move on to value, this is where it gets pretty interesting because what you're comparing is, uh, you know, it's it's kind of the same, but you have one big advantage. So what you have here is the Mylea with the AR RPM 9, which is a powdered steel um, G10 and a total price of $35.99 for $35.99. That's that's going to be really hard to beat. With your Mini Sheepdog, you have 154 CM, which, like I said, is very respectable steel. It's a good steel. G10, but this guy's coming in at $69. $69. So almost double the price um, to get this Mini Sheepdog. So when you take into the fact that you have a, uh, a powdered steel, 154 CM is a non-powdered steel. 150, CPM 154 is the powdered version of 154 CM, which obviously this is not. So you have just a regular steel compared to the powder steel. And uh, yeah, the price being just half the cost with both just using black G10. They both have their nice little colorful pivots uh, or pivot collars. I gotta give that point to the, to the Mylea pretty easily for value. Um, the Mylea has always been a value home run. It's always been one of my favorite smaller knives, and it's definitely my favorite fifth pocket knife, and the, the value has so much to do with that. Um, the value is a huge aspect of it, so this point is easily going to the Mylea right here. Now, when it comes to carry, carry is another one. This one, in hindsight, it's kind of close, but the deeper you look at it and compare the two... Um, the pocket clip is huge on this one. You have a really nice deep carry pocket clip with recessed screws. Not a recessed clip, but recessed screws. So you've got to have plenty of space to, to slide this this uh, this guy into your fifth pocket or primary pocket, however you want to carry it, and it's going to pretty much disappear. The mini sheepdog, you're not going to have that. Um, it's considerably, I wouldn't say considerably, but it is wider with the blade sticking out more. You have the flipper tab as to where uh, the Mylea does not. It has a very nice uh, slim design, and when your hand comes down, you're not you're not going to have to, there's going to be nothing in your way, no pocket pack or nothing like that. Um, so, yeah, carries deeper smoother fit and pocket feel it's it, it, it's gotta go to the mylea when it comes to carry and i will say for the appearance and what some people may think of the mini sheepdog it really doesn't carry that bad it really doesn't um there's no real jimping on the flipper tab that's going to mess with your hand or finger it's actually nice and smooth and when you put it in your pocket it's actually parallel with the edge of the actual handle so it's not really sticking out and you know getting in your way you're kind of it's, it's going pretty smooth you it, it's not something that bothers me at all some people get really picky about that so i wanted to mention it but the mini sheepdog really isn't bad especially for what someone might think when they look at it but the mylea is definitely better so the mylea gets the point in the carry department now moving on to quality <sighs> let's let's talk about quality on these two knives because in all honesty there's not a lot to talk about. Um, both blades are centered perfectly. They are 
no blade play. Um, you have re really sharp edges on both knives. Nice finishing on the G10. There's no defects or smudges or cracks or scrapes or anything. Um, everything's in really good shape. Uh, you got nice solid lockup with both knives. There is one defining factor, and it's on the Mini Sheepdog. And it's my biggest knock on the Mini Sheepdog because I really do love this knife. But what I absolutely, and I mean I hate it about this Sheepdog, and it, it's it's almost an insult to the knife because it's a fantastic design, um, the liner lock access. There is none. There is no access to the liner lock. You have to smash your thumb in there, and you have to get it down, and then, then the, the detent ball catches, so you have to push it. Um, that's it that that is the defining issue of the mini sheepdog this is such a popular knife kaiser really does need to go back and make a cqi version of this um just take a little more off the right here where your index finger wraps around uh take that back a little give yourself some access to the lock like the mylea has you have really nice access to this liner lock and boom, it's it's done. It's closed. Just like that. It's easy. Um, the sheepdog, you, you really have to... It, it can be tricky. It's it's not bad, but when you're comparing it to the Mylea, it is bad. Um, it, it's, and it's annoying. So it, it's something they really need to fix on this knife. If they can do that, uh, th this would have been a tie. But the way it is, I have to, no question, give the point to the Mylea in the quality department for that lack of liner lock access on the Mini Sheepdog. Now going into action, I'm going to start off with the Mini Sheepdog here because this is one of the best true flippers ever. It sounds good. It looks good. Um, the blade whips out. Uh, just recently I did a review of, uh, or not a review, another Battle of the Blades comparing the uh, Kaiser Lieb and the Civivi Odium, and I said the Kaiser Lee was the best flipper ever for a small knife like that. It was the most unique, different feel I've ever felt, and I still stand by that. But the Sheepdog is pretty close. Um, it's the it, it's one of the closest knives to it. Um, so it is in that second or third place behind the lead, but the action is just fantastic. You get that nice weight of the blade of the mini sheepdog whipping and snapping out and that nice crisp detent that Kaiser put on it. It really is a fantastic action, but that's all you have is the flipping action. Now, when you get to the Mylea, what you have is a front flipper and thumb studs, and that's just a fantastic combination of fidget bliss. You saw the middle finger flick, you saw the, the, the thumb flip, Here's the front flip. It's so good. Every form of this action is fast, crisp, smooth. You, you can do the reach around. There's, there's that reach around reference. I know some of you guys are waiting for that. I had someone called me out in my comments. was like, you talked about a front flipper without mentioning the reach around. So I'm not letting you guys down this time. Reach around commenced. But uh, but no, the, the 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 action's just great on this, and this middle finger flick on these thumb studs is fantastic. It it's just a small knife, and it fits in your hand. It's it's so easy to manipulate and work with and use and just fidget all day with. I've got to give the point to the Mylea for the action. Um, I, I'm almost thinking about making uh making fidget factor a separate category, but it's so closely tied with the action. I'm probably just going to leave it there. Let me know what you guys think. Should the fidget factor be separate from the action or should it all be one? Let me know. And I'm going to do what you guys say is as far as at least for what majority majority decides. But, um, but yes, point for action goes to the CGRP Mylea. And lastly, we have aesthetics. So aesthetics, wow, which one? Which one is better? Because you have, I think they both look really good in a close position. And I think they both look really good in the open position. Um, if I have any knock on the, I, it's really not an, I'm not even going to mention it. Because they're really both, in a way, they're both kind of cleavers. I mean, this is, I'm sure this is uh, technically a sheep's foot as to where this is a cleaver. But they both have that uh, sheep's footy cleaverish look to it which is another reason why they're so good to compare. And to be all, totally honest, I like them both so much, I'm going to make this a tie because what what kind of falls apart for me on the Mylea is the bottom. And the bottom kind of goes away from me, but I like the blade better. 
than the Mini Sheepdog. But I like the bottom a lot better on the Mini Sheepdog, but the blades, uh, it, like I said, there's really nothing that overpowers the other. For every little thing I could pick about on one knife, I could go back and do the opposite for the other. So they balance out really well. There's nothing that puts one ahead of the other. So that one's a tie. So that still leaves us, though, with a fairly deciding 4-2-1 win for the CJRB Mylea. And I just... I, I kind of knew this one was coming, but the more I thought about it, the sheepdog kind of made its own little, uh, its little surge. But I've got to say, the, the Mylea is just a fantastic knife. You guys will see it a little more in future videos, but it just really is. For the price, the fidget factor, the quality, it really is one of the best offerings you can get out there, especially if you live in a city where you got to keep your blades under three inches. Um, and this is under two and a half inches, which I think helps. Or no, it has to be too much. I'm not sure if there's a two and a half inch law in some places, but regardless, it's just an excellent knife. Hop on and pick one up. There's not a lot of knives that I tell people you got to try them. Um, if you like small knives, you absolutely have to try the Mylea. You no know ifs, ands, or buts, you have to try it. It really is a great knife. I don't say that about every single knife because I know everyone, you know, different folks, different strokes. But this is just a great one. It really is. It won this round, and I think it would win... Uh, win the approval of many of you guys and gals out there. So give this one a try. And also give the Mini Sheepdog a try if it's something, if you like cleavers, the action's great. Um, it's a very unique looking little blade. But there we go. The winner of this one was the CJRB Mylea. I hope you guys enjoyed this comparison. I got a couple more coming for you. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And until the next one, I'm out.